Hey guys and welcome back to another episode, not from the post-apocalyptic garage, but from the beautiful Bavarian Alps here in the background, which you can't see because I'm filming on a balcony. So I'm sorry for the pretty bad sound quality because there's a street right there in front of the hotel and there are cars driving by all the time. You will hear them in the video, but I think this should not be the worst problem. It have also started to rain about 15 minutes ago, so the light quality in this video will also be not the best, but I think you can get over that as well. So before we start with the build process, I want to address a really important theme to you. So, I think when you're not living under a rock, you probably have heard from the YouTube headquarters shooting and yeah, it's a really bad thing because many of us, especially gun channels, have talked about the demonetization and why it is always so bad and yeah, then a little scumbag comes along and shoots up the YouTube headquarters, so this is for sure the most counterproductive thing you can do. Uh, just like when you're a terrorist and you're kidnapping some kind of American citizens. Everyone knows that America is not negotiating with terrorists. And I think this recent shooting can be a reason for YouTube to even further, how should I say, to make it even worse, the whole demonetization thing and all of that. But uh, what's really interesting in this whole thing with the YouTube shooting um, not interesting in a funny way, but you know, the shooter was a girl from Iran which is vegan and which is kind of an animal rights extremist. So, so I think that's as far away as you can get from the stereotypical white bacon loving guy who lives in Texas, loves hunting and shooting around. So. Uh, maybe YouTube, just think about that a little bit. If you have watched my last video about the improvised spray can, you have probably seen one of the comments, which was from a guy whose name I don't remember exactly, but he reminded me that it looks a lot like the Sonic Boom targets. So he gave me a link, but I couldn't open it and I searched for it online. And I only found, uh, when searching for Sonic Boom targets, I only found some kind of explosive things or explosive targets, which be probably highly illegal in Austria and in Germany as well. But I kind of remember a video from a fellow YouTuber, Jörg Sprave, from the Slingshot channel, and also I think from Tau of Uh and they posted some kind of device which is um, a screw, a cap screw from a plastic bottle, which a built-in valve, and so you can reuse it, it's under the screw, and you just fit it on some kind of bottle, pump it up to about 50 or 55 psi, and you should get a pretty loud boom out of it when you shoot it with an air rifle or a bow or some kind of not so much noisy devices like that. So I have searched the minibar of my hotel room and I found this bottle of sparkling mineral water, also this much smaller bottle of sparkling mineral water. I got to a sports store nearby and bought this bicycle inner tube, like the last time. Of course, because we are on the construction site, I have my cordless drill with me. And last but not least, I've uh, kind of found this bicycle pump here in the basement of the hotel. I think it's for pumping up the tires from guests which are coming with bikes here. Okay, so that should pretty much be all we need for today's project and yeah, it's a short project and it's kind of a follow-up to my last video, but who cares? Better than no video. And I know for sure that hotel owners love nothing more than guys on the balconies building some kind of explosive targets. <laughs> Should be pretty fun.
one more additional part when you do something like that uh, on the balcony of a hotel don't cut directly on the table use a hanger like this one here to cut onto its wood you can put it back in the closet so no one will notice and one question especially for my German viewers is my little EDC here illegal in Germany? I don't know Okay, so now we just have to wait for the glue to dry and if you have thought that we wouldn't test this thing out because we're in a hotel, you're wrong. It will be dry in an hour. In an hour we have it about 10 o'clock in the evening, so the perfect time to blow something up in a hotel room. So stay tuned. I will have one or two beers in the meantime, waiting an hour for this glue and for you through the magic of video editing, I'll be right back. And the hour is over and we're back here in the bathroom of my hotel. My voice will have a pretty bad hole to it right now because it's a pretty plain room here. Nothing in here at all. And the lighting conditions are also not really the best. But our glue has dried and we are now ready to test it out. Okay, so what's really amazing about these bottles, and I'm kind of afraid to touch it right now, is that they are holding a lot of pressure. We've got this little bottle here to over 80 psi or 5 bars. So that's twice the pressure of your average car tire. And it's hard as a brick. Here at the top it's slightly bulged. I don't know if you can see it. No, way too much. Oh, way too less light in here, but I think you get the idea and there is really a lot of pressure in it. So we're going to tie some kind of string around the valve here so that we can hang it and then let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in my shower right now. I've attached a bottle to a string and hung it here. And I also have this little screwdriver here which should simulate some kind of low velocity projectile of sorts and the screwdriver should also be really good for our test because 
It makes basically no noise itself, so you should only be able to hear the noise from the bottle. That was way too loud. Okay, so I just received a call from the reception and have to go down now and explain what this little boom here in the bathroom was. As you can see, the bottle is completely busted open. It's pretty much gone right now. And the really, really good thing is that you just have to unscrew the cap with the valve here and it will be perfectly fine to go on the next puddle. So, I'm back and fortunately the owner of the hotel is a pretty nice guy and he took it with a lot of humor, so I don't have to leave the hotel, but I have to stop making things that explode. And yeah, I could see that. But our little project today is over anyway, so I hope you liked it. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook to get every update about my day-to-day -day life and also my workplace here. Please consider becoming a Patreon, spending only one dollar a month, because as you know, it don't hurt you and it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you not already have and have a nice evening. Thanks and goodbye.